This is Jones10395 with another airsoft video for you today. This will be my custom Air Force themed loadout, which wasn't based off any group in the Air Force in particular, just themed off the Air Force. Uh, I just want to start the uh, video out this far away because I wanted you to see like everything in one frame. Because when I go into more detail talking about what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it by halves, upper half, and lower half. So. Let's start that right now. So here you are with the upper half, and I just want to start out by saying everything in this loadout is mil-spec apart from the uh, GoPro up here, <laughs> my gun, obviously, and the uh, airsoft vest. So we're going to start off with my gun here. This is a custom, uh, used to be JG M16 A4, but now it's completely customized with a 601 type bore, uh, all steel gearbox with a uh, steel tooth piston, and one point sling, that's basically the really fast review of it. So that's the gun. The GoPro up here is a GoPro Hero 3, um, what is it, Silver Edition. It runs 30 frames a second in 1080 HD. And this is what it'll look like in first person. It's a pretty cool view with the GoPro on it. If you can see that tack light and laser right there. Do some offhand shooting here. So I'm going to put this gun down here and take the GoPro off, turn the record button off, there we go, and the uh, mount I use is just a simple elastic mount, you can put it over a helmet or obviously your head or a hat, works very well. Um, speaking of which, my hat here is a 7 3 8 inch ACU boonie hat or jungle hat, whichever you prefer. Since I'm up close right now, we'll do my goggles. These are flak jack uh, with razor black technology, anti-fogging, uh, with removable um, kind of, I think it's called the razor back technology. You can take it out, and it's got huge holes, so you can, like, I don't know, get a really good ventilation going through there, which I have uh, right now, because they always fog up when I have them in. So, that's that. Uh, my gloves here are Calback Impact CT gloves. Really nice, all black little OD pool thing right there and they just come on and off like that I love them very much because they got a trigger finger leather thing right there <laughs> leather padding I guess you can say padding all over the palm and uh, there's no brand names on them which was the biggest seller for me there's no brand name I hate those mechanics gloves because they advertise on me and you don't get anything out of it you know they don't do a discount and they don't get paid for advertising on your hand I know it sounds stupid but I don't like when people advertise on me so, a vest here is an ACU Condor Outdoor Elite Vest. I believe that was the full name. If you haven't noticed, I'm going to put all the names up on the screen, too. Uh, this has three double-stack M4 magazine pouches on either side. So it's a total of six, and you can hold 12. But if you want to do that, you have to take this thing off, and things tend to fall out when you don't have the two, magazine in, two magazines in there at once. They just like to fall out. Um, it also has... Name tape Velcro up here for your team, and then your call sign or whichever you call it. I'm the janitor because we're not making YouTube videos. That's my job in real life. I'm a janitor. <laughs> so this, if you wonder, this is Camelback Thermoback three liter um, water hydration pack thing. <laughs> uh, it's really nice. You know, you, obviously you can put your name tape on it. If you can see, got my last name there. Um, you know, you can put it on your vest, you can take it off your vest, or you can just wear it as on its own. Um, I fell on it three times so far, and it's never popped or broken or leaked or anything like that, so it's a really tough platter. You don't have to worry about it breaking. My uniform up here is ABU Airman Battle Uniform. It's similar to the ACU, but it does have subtle differences, if you can see that. Um, that's basically why this is an Air Force theme loadout right there. So we will go to the lower half now. So here is the lower half. I'm going to start off with my pants right here, which are ABU camouflage to match the upper part. My leg holster here is a lefty leg holster, which can hold 1911 all the way up to USP 45, which is a very wide and large pistol. Uh, it's not quick release, but I've never had a problem drawing this in game. You can just do this and then take it out like that fairly fast. My pistol I like to run and the only <laughs> pistol I use and have is a WE1911 gas blowback. I will have one magazine in the chamber here 
and then I will also have one in the leg holster. I put my gun away real quick. One in the leg holster, right there. And then I also have a third magazine in an M4 pouch uh, on my vest, which we've already been over. It uh, attaches with uh, a little elastic material right here, which turns into a nylon right here. It grips your leg really nice and tight. Uh, it doesn't fall down, but that's given that you have a really nice belt to hold it on. Um, so you're going to need your belt tightened up also. These knee pads I love. I've had them for three games. They haven't fell down ever in a game. Never had to adjust them during a game or in between games. Um, and I haven't had to adjust them since I bought them and put them on the first day. They've kept their adjustment. They're really nice and tight. Uh, the top part up here stays on with an elastic material and it grips above the kneecap so it never wants to fall down it's always pulling itself up uh, and right here is nylon so it won't fall down obviously this is what keeps it up and this is basically just to make sure it stays straight and uh, they're not um, glossy it's not your cheap plastic you know it's it's a metal spec thing like it keeps saying uh, so you're not gonna be able to slide on these because uh, it's a tacky uh, hard rigid rubber you can bend it, but it's it'll go back to its original shape if you can see me bending it just that easily. It'll go back to its original shape like every time. And underneath there is this foam, medium density foam, which is an ABU camouflage, um, you know, to match the rest of my loadout here. The boots here are Converse Men's Sage Green Boots. Stealth boots, I think. <laughs> I'll put the name up on the screen if you haven't noticed that already. They have a zipper running the side, so you only need to tie them once, and the rest of the time you can zip them on and off. They have a uh, composite toe instead of steel toe. Just as strong, but a fraction of the weight, so it feels like a just a very large tennis shoe. Get that back in frame. Feels just like a very large tennis shoe, and you can run just all day in these things, and you're not going to get any fatigue due to your boots. It's, they're really nice, really comfortable, and they have very large treading, too. If you can see that, no BBs will get stuck in these treads because they're large enough to where BBs just fall out if you do step on them. They never get stuck, as I keep saying. Uh, these are great for indoor and outdoor. Uh, I've used them for both indoor and outdoor play, and they have just, just like superb grip on the you know your cement floors for indoor or your tile floors and uh, uh, your <laughs> your woodland areas, your mud and all that stuff. And also some men for outdoors too. So they're just really top-notch boots. So this is my custom Air Force themed airsoft loadout. If you would like to voice any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to use the comment section for that. But other than that, this has been my custom loadout.